And then we'll just... All right, you drunk bastards ready? I guess. All right. You don't want to film a little? No, probably not. We might as well just go oh, right into it, right? Yeah, let's go right Just right. press the button. Top, right? Top? That's yeah. Good job. Oh, his job. <laughs> Fucking A is right. Uh, what's up, guys? Episode 108, right? Yeah, it, what is. it is for the Pizza Mugs. This is our uh, St. Patrick's Day episode. We're all wearing green. It's like a made up holiday, right? Irish no. people don't exist, does it? Actually, they, don't, they didn't celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Ireland at the beginning. The beginning? The beginning? When the hell was that? 1737. Oh, it's got to be older than that. No? No, that was the very first parade in Boston. Oh, get out of here. The very first parade Boston in Boston. Boston was invented in 1738? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's... Yes. It was, that was history. It was part of the fucking 13 colonies. Well, we got French fries. Uh, we got Guinness. Yeah, so it's kind, um, of, kind of like what? A seven-course meal in Ireland. Yep. A six-pack of potatoes. <laughs> Want to drink a beer? I got this fucker over here. Oh. I set right. it up for him. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pour a Guinness, anyways. Alright. Show him how to do it. This is This is the boom. proper proper way of doing it. If you this. don't have a, a tap Guinness, this is how you do it. That's right. Slowly it turns into a Guinness. Here's you the thing I always thought though. I, I I I always thought because I pour a Guinness, and it should be, the glass should be, like, two ounces shorter. Because that's what well, I'm Well, here, here's the proper pour right there. Yeah. If you guys see it, it, it the, the head is right on top of the harp. And that's the proper pour of a Guinness. Oh, boy. Is that I love it. It's like magic. It is. Magic. It's not really. I, I don't know. I guess. I'm, I'm eating fries. Try yes. With, with mustard. It's no, kind of like. Oh, I thought you. I thought you said you like mustard. Right. Kind of like the movie Sling Blade. Right, right. Who Sling Blade? Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> pass me some of those French fried yeah. potatoes <laughs> with mutton. I do French fries with mustard. <laughs> French fried potatoes. Y'all yeah, 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 not to talk to the boy like that. He's just a boy. That was one of the greatest movies ever made. Yes. Billy Bob Thornton. Love him. Is, oh, is he Irish? He's great. He's weird as fuck, apparently. All right, fuck Billy Bob Thornton. We're moving on to Irish people. Oh, and I got I, some I, Irish. Irish themes or whatever. All right, yeah. The Mount Ex okay. Explain it. We're filming today. It's uh, March 16th, so that's the day before thanks, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? We, Say, we, we, we've been celebrating St. <laughs> Patrick's Day all week. If you can't tell by now. Right. Uh, all right. Take take two. Take it, it, it's March sixteenth, the day before St. Patrick's yeah. Day. Peanut gallery, zip it. <laughs> so, yeah, it, uh, we're filming. Let's so try this again. March sixteenth. It's uh, the day before St. Patrick's Day. Yes, but it is. I mean, we still have. We've been partying all week. Yeah. Like, well, the Pixco well, Parade was was last Saturday, March 9th. Yeah, I fucked up because I did not dress warm enough. It was cold and it rainy. It was cold and fucking raining and miserable, and I had to leave. That's why I stayed inside. Oh, it was I was? Uh, you're cold. And I got sick you're that cold night. always. I, I, I had cold always. I was I got in, thin blood. Yeah, I was inside my truck <laughs> driving Miss Daisy Joplin around. Yes, you were. Yeah. I can't believe. She, I she can't got, believe you guys actually went through with it though. I, God, I was going to say something so dirty. But it was <laughs> no. Well, she got she got a little wet and. Whatever. Everything was wrapped up for the umbrella. Everything was in plastic. It was, I mean, dude. Every, everything had plastic on it. And I'm just like, you yeah. got the tailgate wide open. I'm just like, I'm just Jazz, like, get out of here. Sorry. 
No, I'm just like, you should, like, the tailgate's wide open. I'm just like, dude, don't hit the brake right. suddenly. Because there's she nothing. Went over, she would have went over. Dude, right, this girl is amazing. She plays a great instrument, yeah. violin, and Jack's driving her around. And she's very light. In the, oh, in the parade ground. She, and it was. She's it was a fine. petite woman. Yep. And it was raining, and everything was soaking wet, and everybody was wrapped in plastic. Oh, my God. But she had a friend there holding the umbrella for her. Yep. So that worked out. Yep. Speaking of Irish... I thought, I thought that was Phil's job, to hold the umbrella. I thought he well, was Well, he should have been, because he was taller than Freddie. That oh, dude, did so did Phil actually, like, fucking run out in the middle of Division Street and, like, hand you a beer? He did. While yeah, you were driving, driving, like, with the cops? Yes. Like, <laughs> right in front and, of the and then, then someone posted it on Facebook, and I instantly texted them and said, "You can take that down, please." I don't know, man. And, I, I but, like I like the peak skull cops. They're me cool. too. They're cool. They're yeah, very he's cool. Teflon Don over here. They're they're not gonna fuck with yeah. <laughs> and, and Nancy, right? Nancy Lope. What's her name? Nancy from the bar from Chuck and All. Henry's sister, Lopez. What? Yeah, she tried to hand me a shot of Jameson as I'm driving behind the wheel with yeah. Daisy. Yeah, with Daisy. Yeah, that'll go over well. Oh, I and that's why when you see the video of it, I'm doing this. I'm just doing this right here. <laughs> but you did. Now, I, I got the beer, yes. <laughs> actually, I, actually, Phil ran up to the corner of South Division and Main Street and handed me another beer for the rest of the route. So I did two beers. Two beer. Two beers. <laughs> two beer. Chris Robbins, how you doing, bro? <laughs> I love two beer. Chuck, how do you call him two beer? Beer or bear? <laughs> what is it? Two bears. I don't know. All right, what's our Mount Rushmore going to be? Uh, all, all things all, Irish. Well, all that's things all Irish. thing. Like I said, we're doing uh, this thing. At, we're filming right now. It's uh, March 16th, day before uh, St. Patty's Day. But so. it's not like a pre-show. Look at this. This we is got, the we show. Got everything. We got everything. Yeah, this is the show. This is the show. And we're, yes. we're in green, and we're being... And that cheesy fucks. So, uh. And enjoy the episode. It's episode 108. Is it? Let's go. Let's yeah. Go. Let's find let's find us this. on YouTube and find us on our uh, Instagram page. That's right. Which is PCO Monks. So, what did you guys. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So, we're basically picking our Mount Rushmore of all things great that are Irish. Um, so, I, I, for one, I picked. Um, Basically, uh, yeah. actors and entertainers. Lead it, up. Lead it up, then. You want me to? Yeah. 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 You're up to bat. Okay. All right. Swing away. So I will go in order. He's got notes. I got notes. I did a lot of research for this There's one. There's a lot of Irish people out there. Just so... uh, let's see. Nice. All right. So I will go in order from... Well, I wouldn't. I don't want to say best to worst because um, they're all good. But uh, Number four. WWE superstar Becky Lynch. Wow. Love her. Lynch. Love her. She was born in Limerick, Ireland in 1987. And uh, she is, uh, I never thought that I would even have, uh, you know, favorite ladies wrestlers because I'm old school and they weren't allowed. Miss, Miss Elizabeth? Um, was she, she was a wrestler. <laughs> yeah, I know. No. She stood on but the side what? and kept her mouth shut. Was, was Becky Lynch like a good wrestler? Oh, uh, she, oh, she's she fantastic. Would beat your ass. Yeah, she, oh, yeah, she, she would, would beat your, beat your, ass. Beat your yeah. ass. Yeah, like like Chris Lynch. Yes. Yes. No, yes. he just no. He wouldn't beat your ass, but he knows uh, uh, Chris Lynch. Choke hey. hey, Chris. How are you? Happy, happy Ireland Day, whatever. That's it's right. <laughs> so definitely, uh, oh. definitely big. Love Chris Lynch. Sorry. Love Becky Lynch. Yeah, me and him played darts last night together. And uh, I guess we're at WrestleMania 40 is coming up, and that is actually a two-day event on April 6th and 7th. Uh, in Philadelphia, so um, I'm looking forward to that. I don't even know who she's wrestling on the card yet. I mean, things change lately, so last minute now. I have no idea. But Wait, um, you said she was born in 1987. 1987. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah, she's a little old right now to be wrestling, don't you think? She's like 37. Yeah. Oh, don't say too old. No, 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 <laughs> not too old. But I mean, nine. no, but in that sport. In that sport, yeah, yeah. But and it's different. You, you, there's more longevity in, in wrestling than there are like sports like football. And, it's a real sport because you know TW wrestled and he got his ass kicked. I got beat. I got beat up good. So 
Uh, okay, let's That's see. Why, let's go, Sledge. Finish up. All right. Number three. Uh, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, Liam Neeson. Oh, oh, fuck you. You might remember him from uh, Star Wars, The Phantom Menace, Gangs of New York, Schindler's List, which, I mean, come on. He wasn't. He was born in uh, Bali Mina, Northern Ireland in I've never seen Sin Schindler's List, by the way. You've never seen it? No. I mean, it's just one of those things where you, you got it. You, you should. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's not going to make you feel no great. God, no. But there's something I about it. I didn't watch it. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> no. All right. Uh, so let's see. <laughs> just all yeah. right. <laughs> this one was all right. So I, my number two is a little controversial. Um, originally, I was going to go with Daniel Day-Lewis. Oh. When Now, he is Irish. He is. He is. His father was born in Ireland. But Daniel Day-Lewis was actually born in London in 1957. So he is not a true native. He's not. So I am picking strictly born in Ireland. All right. All right. So, yes. Awesome. Love him. Love Danny Day Louie. Danny Day Louie. But I was, no one's ever called him that. I was forced to. Oh, I'm sure somebody has. Come on. I, I doubt it. I, I, was, uh, I had no choice but to replace him with um, actor Cole Meany, <laughs> who you might remember from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. He was born in 1953 in Dublin. Who names your kid Colm? C O L M. Maybe he no was. One. Maybe he was like screaming at the womb, and they were like, "Hey, calm down." <laughs> I, I don't no. fucking know. And his last name's Meany. Why is he on your top four? Because he was born in Dublin, and okay. he was also uh, in cahoots with Tommy Lee Jones in Under Siege. Oh, oh and I'm Gary Busey. Tommy Lee Jones, Under Siege. Yeah. Yeah. That character was off yeah. the charts. Amazing. And, and, and he looked like a rock star, <laughs> and he, he and, wanted to like blow up the world. Mm -hmm. What was it? And Steven Seagal saved the day, by the way. Yeah. And as if as if John Cusack already didn't have his hands full in Con Air with all those crazies on he the took plane. His car. He took his car. They did not get along as co-workers. So Cole Meany, cheers. If you're watching. Uh number one. <laughs> yeah. Uh Liam Neeson. Again, because um, <laughs> like his twin brother, you re you might remember him as Hannibal Smith from the Eighteen movie. Raz no. Al Ghul. You might not from no. that, <laughs> from hey, that was an okay movie. Even Raul. He was good. That was last episode when we were cannibals, and the my favorite movie was Eaten Raul. Eaten Raul. Eaten Raul. Well, he played Raz Al Ghul in Batman Begins and Sounds The Dark Knight like Rises. And he had a tremendous cameo in Ted 2, all about Trick's breakfast cereal. Really? And, uh, Christ. And, and those are my... How much time did you sit down and think about this? A good 40 minutes, sir. Yeah. A good 40. Yeah. I, I, I was going to say higher, but... No, no. No. Those are my four. I got some honorable mentions. Who is... You have an overrated... I not I I didn't I didn't think it. I think these guys are great. I don't want to say anybody's yeah. overrated, right. but yeah. uh, if you're Good twisting enough. my arm, uh, Bono. Who? Bono. Oh, from YouTube. From YouTube. Right. And, and we'll, we'll just without move, you. we'll just move right. I on. could do with or without him. <laughs> we. <laughs> then I'm just going to take right over from here because my Mount Rushmore is the the top Irish bands. My number four on top is U2 and Bono. Sure. Whose real name is Paul Houston. Paul Houston? Yeah. Houston. And he gave himself a name and Bono. I know. There's he adapted the you name. Be a real Hold on. Dick. No, no, no. Here's why. Here's I'm why. Sorry. I'm sorry. He sorry. adapted the adapted the name Bono from Bono Vox in Latin, which means good voice. Hmm. That's cute. That's where he got his name from. I That's why not, he changed I, it. I did not know that. You gotta know Latin. And first the name, all, and the name, all, all right, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I like you two. I actually... I, I don't hate them. But you got a guy called Bono. Gave him himself a nickname. Then you have The Edge. His name that is... That one's a little pretentious. The Edge. <laughs> yeah, that, that, one's a, that one's a bit... Kind of go fuck yourself, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you know where... Yeah. 
You know where the name U2 came from? Yeah, they, the they, guy they, named wasn't, wasn't it the spy plane? <laughs> no. It, it, was, was, it wasn't? It, was, it actually came from a hearing aid shop in Dublin. That was the name of the hearing aid shop in Dublin called U2. And they took they took that name. I did not know Wait, that. Wait, hearing aid shop? Yes. They have them? Yes. Like, when you don't fucking listen, you need them. Oh, hi, Mark Buckland, how you doing out there if you fucking hear us? Speaking of hearing aids. If not, that's my fault. That's this. right. Um, I thought he was coming today. Um, number three, the 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 chief tons. Huh? The chief tons. Oh yeah, yeah. A true Irish folk band from Dublin, Ireland. Once again, it was formed in 1962, and they have six Grammys. So I, you know what? I like true. Is. I like the true Irish music. I really do. No, no, it's yeah, good. And, and, and the chief tons are part of them. Um, my number two, definitely the Irish rock band from Dublin, Thin Lizzy, oh, yeah. which, which was formed in 1962 as well. And they do a version of Whiskey in the Jar. Oh, I don't know if you guys ever saw their version of Whiskey in the Jar. It's fantastic. Go to YouTube, watch that, and then watch us on YouTube. Peaks go mugs all over. Okay, you'll go back to Thin and, Lizzy. But you know what? Actually, my favorite Thin Lizzy song is The Boys Are Back. In town, sure. What what is that that band? Oh shit! It's gonna. Well, I'll I'll figure it out after. All right. That one bit. Jump Irish jump band. jump in. Whenever you think of that. Yeah, I will. All right. But I'm doing. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Oh, hush. Put your fucking hearing aids in, you two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My number one and my most. I thought you did like six bands. No, there. I've only done three. But my number one. Mount Rushmore is Shillelagh Law from the Bronx, formed from the Yonkers guys and the Bronx guys in 1998. And now they actually all, they play all over the world now, Shillelagh oh, yeah. Law. Yeah. I actually, Law. we, we yeah. just saw them uh, like a month ago up in Poughkeepsie. And once again, go to YouTube, type in Shillelagh Law and watch Christmas in New York. How do you spell Shillelagh Law? S. H I L E L A G H Law. Jeez. I got a good story about law later, about lawyers. Um, but yeah, go watch um, my favorite song. It's called. Wait, what's the band called, heading up the Boston? That's. Uh, my fine. honorable mention, <laughs> as we're moving right along while he's thinking, um, my honorable mention is going to be Daisy Joplin. Well, you kept her alive. She's from England. Whatever. She has a fucking Irish bro. <laughs> no, and she's cute. In English. And really? she's cute. And she plays one hell of a fucking fiddle. She and does play a hell of a fiddle. Yeah. You know what? On that <laughs> note, listen, on that note, that's my four. Right. And All right. mention, up mayo, baby. Dropkick Murphys. Mm, that's, that's the one it. I meant. Yeah. Oh, that's a great band. That was um, the one I was going to use that I hated. Because I just saw them. All right, I so like I guess I'll do my my uh, Mount Rushmore of Irish things. Oh, my grandmother came off the boat, by the way. The boat. God rest her soul. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She'd be like 120. Yeah. So she's deader than Elvis. <laughs> God rest her soul. I love, I love your grandmother. Didn't even meet her. You didn't even meet her. I know, but if I did, I would have liked My dad her. wants you to come over for a cigar, by the way. I will do that. Right. We can sit down and watch Match Game 77 together. Nice. He, he's like Match Game 55. <laughs> Carry on. All right. All right. So I'm I'm going to do Matt Rushmore of uh, movies, Irish movies. And all right. I'm going to start with the first one, The Departed. Sure. That's that's. That. It's an Irish mob movie yes, set it. in Boston yep. with Leo DiCaprio. You got it. I, oh, I, I ate him last week, too. Oh, you ate Leo? Yeah. That's right. Remember? Oh, that was the whole thing. It was a cannibal he was, episode. Oh, oh, that, that. Go back to episode 107 to see who we would eat if we were cannibals. Jack, don't suck on the I mic too much. Sorry. <laughs> Keep it like, Sorry. I get it. Not there. It'd be good. I thought mm -hmm. I was Cinderella at the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So here's one that uh, Terrence got me into, TW, The Irishman. Oh. It's not really, it's not really, 
an Irish movie, but it's about the Irish guy who killed him. Sure. Yeah. I love that movie. It was like seven hours long, but whatever. I it's watched so it. Long. You yeah. watch it like 40 times. I, I've seen it probably realistically, probably Who, like. Who's in it? Pacino. Every Oh, I've seen that Pesci. movie. Oh, you know what? I've seen that movie. Yeah, all the Italian guys playing fucking. Iron Ray Romano. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Ray Romano. He's actually yeah. really good in it. What the uh, fuck? Oh, the comedian, uh, Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah. He plays. Uh, he was in it? Uh, was there any Irish people in I it? I love it. I love it. It's fantastic. Uh, one. One. Yeah, the, the Irishman, obviously. There's a lot of debate. A lot of people no, call bullshit. De Niro played it. the Irish guy, I think, right? No. Yes. Yeah. Yes, De Niro played that Frank, no Frank Sheeran. And he also played an Irish guy in, in, in Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Good Jimmy Burke. Yes. He said Goodfellas. Ah, that tasted good. Is there another one there? No, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a Miller Miller Light. We got a bartender here tonight. Yeah, we do. Or, a fine, a fine lassie. 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 All right, carry um, on. All right, so I got two down. Um, so the movie Leprechaun. Sure. Jennifer Aniston's first movie. Warwick Davis. Mm -hmm. He played the Leprechaun. He wanted his gold back. Someone took his gold. and I don't know how it made it to the U.S. They, they should have just kept it in fucking Ireland. Perfect casting. I love Warwick. Uh, the big guy from um, what is happening right now? I just turned my Miller Lite way too green. I oh, turned with my your glasses. Why is it green? <laughs> he took. He, he, is that food? Today? Yes. If you're only listening to this show <laughs> and not watching this on video, Jack just put. A shit ton of green food color. It should have been two drops. In his Miller Lite and start it with his cheater reading glasses. Oh, yeah. boy. Um, Which I might need to borrow later. Yeah. But, like I was saying, can, can, our, can our fine bartender go behind that door over there and give me a different glass? It's on the shelf right inside the door on the left. Please. Oh, here, here, here. Use, a, use this one. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Because that I can't drink that. What do you mean? Of course, I stopped recording. It's, it's the same. It's the same. No, I, I added way. I, added, I know, but I added way too much green. It's greener than the fucking Hulk. Oh, yeah, hang on, watch the board. Watch, <laughs> watch, 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 watch the equipment. Yeah. No. All right. How did I stop? You're good. Green? That is so fucking green. All right. Anyway, All right, I'm gonna drink it now. That Jennifer the, Aniston. Sorry. sorry propelled that her delay. career to one of the richest women ever by doing the movie called Leprechaun. That was her first movie. Yeah. And they're they're actually doing a ninth installment now. Yeah, they made that fucking many leprechauns. There were eight, and now there's going to be nine. I did not and know that. Going to the movie theater if it's out, kind of like oh, absolutely. And I got a really tough choice for the last one. Like we do four, like the Mount Rushmore. But it's Waking the Divine. It's oh. my favorite Irish movie of all time. It's it's the guy, he's like 80 years old. It's an island off of Ireland. If that makes sense. It does. And uh, he wins the lottery. And the whole town decides to cover it up so they can collect the money. <laughs> Great soundtrack. Yeah. Unbelievable movie. Unbelievable. But you definitely, need, you definitely need subtitles. Only for you. I can't understand those. No, it's a, it's a PG movie, but it's dark. Like like people die, and they're like, you know, they're no it, spoilers, but it's know, a great movie. Oh, unbelievable! Um, in the most overrated Irish movie, what was that one when they came to New York with Leo DiCaprio and Gangs of New York? Gangs of New York, yeah. yeah. Overrated? Way too long. Yeah, way too long. Way too Thank long. Thank you. All right, yep. maybe not overrated. Way too long. Like you way don't need the three-hour oh. movie. Yeah. Like, have you ever tried reading the book? It would take you fucking three years. It's it's like fucking this thick. The gangs in New York. So is the movie. Yeah. I could talk way about this way one for it. another half hour. I don't. I don't yeah. even want to get what into it. Got, I love fucking gangs in New York. 
It, yeah, I mean, it was it. good, but I thought it was... Well, your boy Daniel Day was in that, right? Sure was, Bill the Butcher. Daniel Day... I mean, it was a good movie, but I, 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 I was just thinking, like, holy shit, it's like three hours. I gotta get up and take a piss. And maybe <laughs> it's, go. It is a long movie. It's called Put It On Pause. <laughs> if you're watching it at like, home. Put it on... Put it on pause. Pause as I piss. I was gonna. What I was saying is like, uh, with a movie like that. No, don't get me wrong. It was great, but way too long. You gotta like, ooh, gotta stop all the time. Like, if you're watching that in the movie theater, you're missing a I good just, part. I just don't think there were any wasted mo motions in that movie. I think every uh, scene it was, was important. It, it was called Leo DiCaprio. Oh, I and that's why what I was it? From, from the 1800s? The, when it was, yeah, the when the during, it was during the Civil War. So around 1865-ish. Yeah. yeah, around there. I don't know. All right, anyway. Is that when the fight in 69 actually started? Weren't they... The who? The fight in 69. Oh, I don't know. You're the, the history guy. Oh, wait. This date in Irish history. Oh! <laughs> yeah, Segway! Segway! <laughs> Segway! Segway! Yeah. Social! Alright. This day in Irish history, actually. Mm. March 16th. Happy birthday to my brother Tommy. My brother Tommy is 67 years old today. Right. You think my parents would have fucking named him Patrick? But they didn't. They, named, not, they named him Patrick him. after like 20 no. years no, nope. hmm. after the eleven of us, it, yeah, he was Thomas Robert Spencer the first. Anyways, March sixteenth, eighteen twenty-eight. Speaking of Patrick, Patrick Clayburn was born on this day in the county Cork. The county what? What? Cork, like the fucking thing the that's in a fucking wine bottle. It's the fucking county that keeps Ireland afloat. I thought that was after, okay. <laughs> after moving to the United States, he actually became a lawyer. Nice. He did. Which is kind of fucking amazing. Because what it Irish is. what Irishman that do you know that can pass the bar? This far? <laughs> none, <laughs> none of them. None of them. Wait, none of them. <laughs> Alright, March 16th, 1900. Queen Victoria. 1900. 1900. We are, on, on this day, March 16th, um, decreed that on St. Patrick's Day, all Irish regiment of the British armies should wear a shamrock. Where? Is that what? the end of the No, whatever. On their, 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 what do you call it? I mean, like, the lapel. no, it's the, on the to, lapel. I'm trying to say this fucking word and I can't. To comment, <laughs> I can't say that word. To show, so, so to show, to show, to show support of the bravery of, bravery of all Irish troops. Show, it just no. sounds very festive for the military. They should have handed out the pins and, and flasks. I don't know. Yes. Well, it was 1900 and, and Queen Victoria, whatever. This was way before. It was only 125 years ago. I mean, I duh. know, but, but between the, the, the bribery, is that a word? No. Um, no. <laughs> between the. Between, we both said, no. No. Nope, between not the, a word. Between the British and, and the Irish? No. This was way before that. Oh, boy. We still have like a whole. Like, Black Mass, real, by the way, it was a good movie. I got it. How about oh, Match yeah. Matchbox Twenty? Isn't that an Irish band too? No, I I'm don't. so American. Yeah, I don't know. The guy lives in fucking Briarcliff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were Irish. No. no. All right. Maybe Irish roots, but no. Matchbox maybe. Twenty was uh, Rob Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. My no, buddy used to be the exterminator oh, for his fucking. What, what am I thinking of? Something. Something. Oh my god, your lips are so green right now. I know. <laughs> That's Wait, great. What's our drink? <laughs> what aren't our drinks? I didn't even open the fucking Guinness yet. <laughs> my lips Probably are a good green, thing. Right? 
Thank um, you, thank you, Chucks, for uh, I bought a couple of uh, Guinness from there. Awesome. Yeah, Jam that's, that, that's why like I it. can't drink that. If my lips are turning green, I can't drink that. No, it's. I know that was it, a Miller Lake. No, I, I meant to squeeze the fucking little bottle just once. Well, not you jizzed all over it. Yes, and turned it way too green. <laughs> Should we land this plane? Because we're basically at 28 minutes. Yeah, our timing's great. Yeah, land the plane, man. All right. Any shout outs? I, I, I did one to my brother, Tommy. Well, yes, I will get. It is St. Patrick's I'll, Day, so if you have some Irish friends out there. I will, I would, I, yes, I would. There is one shout out that I would like to give. My friend, uh, my friend Lindsay, who marched in the oh. uh, Peace Kill Parade, who Good. I. Really, really wanted to meet up with after the parade, but I fucked up. I did not dress warm enough, and then I totally got sick that night. Wow. And I was freezing and dying in bed and had to go home. Okay. So, yes, I feel bad about that. She's but, like a drummer or something, Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she yep. I, yeah. Saw, I saw her marching. I saw her marching, um, but I just, I, I couldn't. But, um, so, yes, Lindsay, if you're watching, happy St. Patrick's Day. How about you? And we'll catch you next time. Any shout-outs? Yeah. I want to say happy birthday, 80th birthday to my dad and uh, that's part niece. And, I think. and when's his birthday? Uh, no, it was a couple days ago. Which is fine. He hit 80, she hit 20, and then I got a buddy Mike. Birthday on March 17th. He's he's Italian though, so it doesn't doesn't really. Yeah, it's not Columbus Day. Go fuck yourself, Thomas. What's that? <laughs> it is, it's Thomas now. <laughs> what was it? I, I, I wasn't listening. What, what'd you say? Of course you weren't, you fuck. I don't know. What do you got? I don't know. I'm not done yet. No, we got we got three more minutes. Fuck them. It's 32 minutes long right now. All right, 35 then. Yeah, we're fine. All right, we're fine. Keep going. So all I'm saying, I got more movies. All right. All right. Um, Black Mass with Johnny Depp, Whitey Bulger. Oh, is that what that's from, about? From Boston. Sure. He, he was a badass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's about it. Oh, good one. <laughs> no, I good thought one. you said you had more. I, I, I was gonna look up. I more. looked at the list. I, I was, was gonna. Like, yeah. I was gonna look up more bands. Hey, uh, and if you're looking for an Irish breakfast, Sean McDonald. Yeah. Get your blood pudding or whatever it's called and go to Schlante. Right? Yep. We that promoted. Well, that actually, there. no. That was All right, take that back. You know okay. what? Yeah. <laughs> Cut to them. Um, no, actually, um, how about the Cranberries as an Irish band? Oh, sure. Great band. And I great actually. Who was, Zombie. Zombie. What was her name? Uh, the lead yeah. singer? I don't know. I can't remember. I didn't really follow them. No, me either, but they were probably pretty good. So, oh, I my le you know what? My, I'm sorry, I'm going to rewind this a little bit. My least favorite, Sinead O'Connor. Okay. Well, she's dead. I know, but she really good, whatever. That's, a, that's on her. Good. <laughs> she should, <laughs> she, Justice. Good. Well, you, you can't fucking go on Saturday Night Live and rip up a picture of the Pope just because you don't like Catholicism. Him. That's it. I can't. I was gonna say that, but what's that word? Catholic. <laughs> you got that one right. Uh, All right. So Jack. So what is the word when there's a guy sitting there? He puts a hand up a puppet's ass and talks for him. Ventriloquist. <laughs> Yeah, it hasn't changed. It's a fucking no, one. hold on. No, no, I, I actually have a question for you, though. All right. All right. What do you call a fella from the county of Mayo with 400 girlfriends? What's that? A farmer. Holy shit. <laughs> Hit that fucking button. <laughs>